Hi guys, I'm Eddie with Living Earth Systems, and we're sitting in a, a living system. In this day and age, we can use technology to repair the damage done. We can sequester carbon. We can do this together, and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you what this means and some really simple ways that we can get this done together. We believe that a lot of people are unclear about what actually causes climate change. It's easy to point out the doom, the gloom, and all the pollution. But what about the solution? The answers are all around us in nature. Climate change is about too much carbon in our atmosphere. But carbon is part of the cycle of nature. It is one of the building blocks of life. Our bodies are 18.5% carbon. A certain percentage of our atmosphere is carbon. So it's all about balance. How can we find a healthy balance? Starting about 500 million years ago, when plants appeared on the planet, carbon began to cycle. This allowed for life to evolve as we know it. Life that thrives in an oxygen-rich environment. Humans figured out how to pull carbon from deep within the earth, where the natural cycles have contained it for millions of years. The fossil deposits, oil, then we burned it for energy, releasing it into the sky, interrupting the cycles that nature designed to keep it in balance. The way we have managed commercial agriculture, we have been moving even more carbon from the soil and the biosphere into the atmosphere. Specifically, we have moved 880 gigatons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which is heating up our planet and destabilizing our climate. Now the oceans have absorbed a lot of this excess carbon, which is resulting in an ocean acidification and is accelerating mass extinction of sea life. So in order to save life as we know it, of course, we have to stop releasing fossil carbon. The big question is, where do we put the excess carbon to get the cycle back into balance? The answer is literally in the soil. Plants with sunlight and water perform photosynthesis. They pull carbon from the air and turn it into carbohydrates, sugars. And they pump some of these sugars down through the roots to feed microorganisms who use that carbon to build soil. There we have it, carbon moved. Plants pump it in, the soil stores it in the form of roots, organic materials such as humus brought down by earthworms deep underground, eventually turning back into oil, in some cases. Nature's living systems are amazing. Scientists have recently discovered that applying a thin layer of compost sets up an ongoing positive feedback loop that brings more and more carbon into the soil each year. Along with other regenerative practices like not tilling the soil, planting trees, cover crops, planned grazing, nurturing mycorrhizal cultures and earthworms, we can build and retain gigatons of soil carbon. This is carbon farming. This is regenerative agriculture. We've made such incredible breakthroughs with science, but unfortunately most of the science has destroyed our planet rather than nurtured it. How do we turn that scale? How do we make it so that what we're doing nurtures our planet instead of destroys it? We can all, we have to make those choices together. It's not your choice, his choice, it's all of our choices. So how do we get on the same page? How do we start to understand that this is possible and we can make a difference? <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time is right. I still have a dream. Unlike carbon in the atmosphere, more carbon in the ground is good for us. This makes healthy living soil, nutrient rich, full of life and able to retain water. This means more nutritious food and crops that are more resilient. That's good news for farmers, families and the planet. Remember that all of our actions have the potential to either put carbon into the atmosphere or pull it back into the ground where it has been for millions of years. The regeneration of our soil, our ecosystems, and all life on this planet is our responsibility. It is the number one task of our generation. Our health, the health of our soils, and the health of our planet are all one and the same. All things on this planet are designed to work in a circle. The circle is a cycle. Our actions are our part. I'm a carbon farmer. 
These guys are part of a living earth system right here. We feed these guys. We use the water from here to fertilize the plants around here. And this is actually farming carbon. Where's, Where's the clustering carbon? carbon? I'm sequestering carbon. I'm a carbon farmer. I am sequestering carbon. Malamara Aina. Take care of the land. I'm Eddie Garcia with Living Earth Systems. What can you do to sequester carbon?